All right. So we're back. Our topic for today is all about the heart valves. So let's begin our discussion. So for today, we're gonna have the overview of the heart valves, what causes the lub dub sounds, um, the heart valves, and the function of the heart valves. So we have the overview. Now, um, a heart is a, a one-way valve that normally allows blood to flow in only one direction through the heart. The four valves are commonly represented in a mammalian heart that determines the pathway of blood flow through the heart. So, a heart valve opens or closes incumbent or differential blood pressure on each side. So, now, um, what causes the love dub sounds? Here you go. So, when the heart um, contracts, it is called the systole. And when the heart expands, it is called diastole. So, when the heart contract, it is called systole. And it is um, and it is it produces the sound which is the lab. lab. And when the heart expands, um, it produces the sound dub so that um, the, so the heart um, is making the, the sound lub dub lub dub lub dub like that so lub is the sound when the tricuspid and the mitral valve close at the beginning of the systole so it involves the tricuspid and the mitral valves when making the lub sound. Dub is the sound made when the aortic and the pulmonary valves close at the beginning of the diastole. The valves involved are the aortic and the pulmonary valves and it produces the dub sound. Hence, the lub dub Lab dub heart valves. Uh, the heart valves. Just remember this sentence or this phrase toilet paper my ass. So, um, the first uh, letter of each word has a meaning the T, the P, the M, and the A. Now, for the toilet, um, we have the tricuspid, and for the paper, we have the pulmonic. Next, the my, we have the mitral, and of course, the us, we have the aortic. So, here is your tricuspid valve. So, the tricuspid valve. It regulates blood flow between the right atrium and the right ventricle. This is the first valve that you can see. So, the purpose of the valve is as if they are like the doors. They allow blood to enter and exit from one side of the heart to the other parts of the body. And it also prevents back flow. Next, we have the pulmonary valve. So the pulmonary valve controls blood flow from the right ventricle into the pulmonary arteries. So um, it carries blood to the lungs to pick up oxygen. So um, the the oxygen here is um, deoxygenated they are going to get uh, to go to the 
um, lungs in order for for the blood to be oxygenated. Yan. Next, we have the mitral valve. The mitral valve lets oxygen-rich blood from the lungs pass from the atrium into the left ventricle. So now, the blood is already oxygenated. And lastly, we have the aortic valve. So the aortic valve lets oxygen-rich blood pass from the left ventricle into the aorta. And the aorta is known as the largest artery which then delivers blood to the rest of the body. Ayan. So, there you go. Um, we're done with the discussion and I hope you learned something again. Thank you for listening and have a nice day.